Prince and I are sick of the lighting in the garage. Light behind me doesn't do very good. But then you have this window and this window, it's no good. I'm headed home, I just got some supplies. When I get home, I wanna update you. Where are my manners? I haven't even invited you to today's vlog. Welcome to the vlog. Package. Don't wanna drop this one. This one, if it is the right package, was an expensive package. Well, I guess not the box, but the thing that's in the box. Ooh. And what do you think is in this box? Well, what's in every box? Another box. I bought a new helmet. Feels good. And it looks sharp. Spring is finally here. I'm not going to be stupid with my health and my noggin, so I, I bought a new helmet. Helmets are good. Safety's good. Dalton, I thought you said you were going to work on some lighting. I am, but it's late in the day and I want to make a video for you guys, so here it is. I, I bought a couple lighting supplies. You know, my kind of style lighting supplies. Let's start out with the Kawasaki, shall we? So this went to auction. It was number 1752. It says no papers for a reason. That's not how you spell paper, kids. And an NS, not sold. Well, if you've been here since I bought this bike, which was a long time ago, then that's awesome. Thank you very much. But if you have not been here, then you probably don't know whether I do or don't have the paperwork for this thing. And I do. I have the transferable registration. I just never registered the thing. So when that came to the auction, that was classified as an open transferable registration, which meant if I sold the bike, the name on the transferable registration, they would actually make a check out to that person. And then they'd mail him or her the check, which means I wouldn't get any money for the bike. I would just basically donate it. So how much sense does that make? So I said, okay, instead of that, just put no papers on there and I think that's what cost the sale of the bike turn the gas off we don't need that on why do you say that well it only went for 10.5 now if it had papers it probably would have went more than that like I said I had the papers but since I didn't register it open title bullcrap we still have the Kawasaki gator update it moved three feet that's it what happened to the BMW nothing it hasn't moved nothing's been done to it it's been sitting here <laughs> sorry BMW Prince if only you knew how to drop the toy then I could actually play with you and then the Duramax just has to be gone through. Like cosmetics, fan mail that you sent, things like that. And yes, I sold the Kodiak. I had that heat for a couple months, fixed it up, took it to the auction and sold it. Why? Because I have way too many toys. I, I would have had two four-wheelers. I don't need two four-wheelers. I already have three bikes. I have enough toys for ten of me to ride. I don't need ten clones of me to ride things. Like, like I said a few weeks ago, 2017 is the year for efficiency. That doesn't mean we're gonna sell everything. And what I mean by that is we're gonna cut some smaller things to make room for bigger things. Bigger and better things. I have no idea where the kickstand for the Kawasaki went. Backing her up, backing her up. Since I sold the Kodiak, we'll probably see more of the Bruin. Come on, they're both made by Yamaha and they both have sick tires. We're still good. What's gonna happen with the Kawasaki? Probably sit on idle. I have two bikes. I'm sure they'll break. And I'm sure I'll have to fix them. Kawasaki's gonna sit in the corner. Sorry, Kawasaki. So no, I'm not selling all my machines. And just to make sure I gave you guys a proper update, I'm going to go through a couple more questions. Wide open life. You should hang number plates from your wall. Would you like an Australian license plate? Absolutely. I was thinking that I'm going to put that plywood along my overhead door overhead doors one of them doesn't really move but I'm going to put the plywood there so that it covers up the light so I'm not always struggling with light and I think license plates on the plywood will look really cool so if you have license plates and you want to send them to me send them to my PO box that's in the description looks like Moto Wens everyone rode a two-stroke but you don't and why didn't you ride your KTM well when I went with Seth Jake and Jake's parents I didn't ride my KTM because Jake actually well, what actually ended up happening was Jake tried to load my bike and he said it was spits and sputtering and doing all this stuff. So he suggested me not going or at least not taking the KTM. And that's when I just said, hey, I'm taking a Honda. He didn't even know. I just showed up at his house. Those are a couple questions that I found. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, I mean, spring is finally here, you guys. You know I'm in New York State. Riding season has just started. And warmer weather has finally just started. We're halfway through the freaking year. This is what I'm dealing with. I gotta get out of New York State, man. It's, this is crazy. Or I gotta get a bigger shop. How many people think I need a bigger shop? I do. Let me know what you wanna see. I'll try to satisfy as many of you as I can. I still have a lot of fan mail that you guys sent me that I gotta start putting to use. 
I'm excited for that as well. I got a whole, I got a whole cupboard of it. I'm extremely sorry for the short upload, but I do want to promise you something. Tomorrow we are going to work on the Gator. Absolutely, 100%, we are going to make it happen. I'm not saying we're going to be able to drive it, but I'm saying I'm going to tear into it to try to make it work. One of the tires is already flat. That's why I bought two tubes. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, I'll try not to sell anything.